If you're asking the question of which one's better, Tesla or Sunrun, you're already asking a great question. You're already asking a great question because purchasing solar is not easy. It's super convoluted and it's super, all right, I shouldn't go over the top and say it's so convoluted and so confusing. It's actually the reason why I just said, if you're choosing between Tesla and Sunrun, you're in good shape. Because when you get door knocked by random brands, that's what causes so much disinformation into the market. And that's what causes, I feel like, so many homeowners to kind of have all these mixed opinions about it. And so deciding between Tesla and Sunrun is a great place to be. And what I would say is I would say, call both companies call both of them, go through their online flows, both of them, and just get a quote from both. Because here's what I'll say off the top, you're going to hit hiccups. You're going to hit hiccups. I have this like completely funny story of just how I was on the phone with both of them. Because how I got started in solar was I moved into a new build house. I moved into DR Horton house, Southern California. You're required to have solar on the house. And so Vivint Solar had the contract with DR Horton and they put the solar on top of the house, but only a four kilowatt system. And so when you're buying the house, I asked our sales rep for the home and I asked the sales rep for Vivint Solar at the time, hey, can I get a bigger system? Like I want to get a bigger system and lean into solar. And they're like, no, no, sorry, you can't. No, sorry, you can't. And that's based on two things. It's based on probably their contract just with the home builders of making it systematized so that there's not a lot of variance. But then it's also based on this. The utility companies don't want you overbuilding. They don't want you building more capacity than your home uses. So you need to show usage on a utility bill in order to approve a big system. So that's what I learned and went through all of that coming up on. I just hit my whole year with our first system. And then we just got our second system turned on two months ago. And so through upgrading, I've had the experience of buying solar in a new build and buying solar from scratch, how you're probably doing right now, searching Tesla versus Sunrun. And so just be ready for hiccups. And that's why I, that's why I wouldn't deal with door knockers. I would just deal with both companies, customer service lines, just like calling any sort of thing that you know the phone support is gonna be a little shaky, but you have to know in your brain what it is you want. So that's what I would say. More than even just trying to determine what brand is best, determine what is it that you want? What is it that you want? What I wanted was I wanted great software. I wanted great software. And so that's why I was leaning Tesla, but then I got shut down by Tesla for not meeting a minimum order because my roof couldn't hold more panels that would meet their minimum order because Sunrun slash Vivint gave me the small system on the front end. And so you're gonna hit something like that. You're going to hit a little wonky thing and you're gonna have to decide why am I doing this? Am I doing it for the energy independence of my house? Am I doing it because I like smart home tech? Am I doing it because I have an electric vehicle? Am I doing it because I don't want to keep renting my energy from the utility company? I want to be an energy producer. All of those are good reasons. So that's why I would stick with two brands like Tesla and Sunrun that you know their 1-800 number is going to be there and you know their online chat is going to be there and you know you can reach them. If you do go down the route of going with someone else, here's what I would say. I would say you should definitely try to get a Tesla Powerwall or buy the Sense Energy Monitor off Amazon so that you can have up to the minute data. Well, both of those things do because no one is going to have great data. Even Sunrun's backend doesn't have great data. Your utility company isn't going to give you up to the minute information. You're going to want to have a Tesla Powerwall if you don't. That's the other reason why I like Tesla Powerwalls over the other Powerwalls out there because you know their app is going to be crisp. You've seen the screenshots of it. It looks nice where all the lines are going inside their home. That's going to make you like your system better because this is a major capital improvement to your home. It's not just a random kind of like decision. Like to me, it's a major capital improvement to your home that's going to increase the home equity. And so how much confidence do you have in the ability to explain it to someone else or really know how it works or be able to reach support via live chat or just simply enjoy knowing from your mobile dashboard that your energy is going where it wants to go. And so let's get to financing. 
when I went through the purchasing process of Sunrun versus Tesla, Sunrun had better financing and they had it through a company called Goodleap. And so two things for me, what t ultimately tipped me over to Sunrun was the fact that my first system was Sunrun. And so keeping the second system with the same installer built some continuity for me, but then Sunrun was able to do the Tesla Powerwalls. And so I kind of got the best of both worlds of sticking with my current installer, but then being able to have the Tesla Powerwalls and Sunrun ended up having better financing. So when you get the best rate financing and then you get the tax uh, tax credit, it's almost like getting a like cash advance in order to make a capital improvement on your home. So I'd really research that part too. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you need to have a plan to monetize your surplus in either way, either way, whatever installer you go with, you need a plan to monetize your surplus. Because what I tell people is if you're going through all the trouble of figuring out which brand is better for you and going through all the trouble of showing your high utility bills, maybe having to force you to your utility bills higher. Like we had to run our AC just every single day, every single day, every single day in order to get them to approve the size system that we wanted. And so we had to run over and use above, which sucks. Like it sucks that that's how it is, but that's what they want you to do in order to get the bigger system. And so you should have a plan for monetizing your surplus. You shouldn't just take the wholesale rate that the utility is offering you through net energy metering. You need to have a plan to understand Tesla virtual power plant or go through some of the other videos that I have on other methods for how to monetize your surplus. So if you're deciding between these two, if you know how you're gonna get your good data, if you know and are expecting to have frustrating conversations with the support people, but you're gonna push through, and if you have a plan to monetize your surplus, hit like and subscribe on the way out to these next videos.